Hello guys, uh, good morning to all of you who's watching this video. Today is, uh, is a lovely morning here in Ireland again. And for today's uh, vlog, I just wanna, wanna share to you one of my uh, important uh, things to do this morning is uh, to look at uh, my uh, car. There is some uh, abnormal issues that I uh, noticed uh, recently. And I want to uh, share to you how I gonna fix, or uh, probably I don't, I will not fix uh, this type of issue because uh, it might uh, needed a professional mechanic. But anyway, um, I'll try to uh, do a basic uh, checkup and uh, cleaning. So I will tackle first the maybe the airflow, uh, air mass flow system. The piping and then everything so um, one of my mechanics uh, who was my friend advised me to check all those uh, antique uh, pipings and everything um, that uh, constitute with the intake uh, air it could be the air fuel mixture of the car so let's do it so I'm trying to start the car and uh, I'll show you uh, what I'm uh, talking about here and um, <clears throat> you will see. So um, I uh, started the car, and now uh, you can see the RPM there, about 1,100 RPM. And it's normally, as I uh, told told before, this type of cars only has per, only has an ideal RPM of eight, between 800 to 900 RPM. Um, mine is now on uh, 1100 rpm which is uh, not ideal it will also be uh, jumping up and down uh, later on after a cold start so that's the main issue here so in relation to these uh, issues uh, I would like to uh, <coughs> inspect the intake, ha intake, intake uh, units of the car and then um, we will see if uh, the mass airflow uh, sensor is uh, damaged, it's probably causing trouble or uh, the idle RPM sensor, let's see if we can uh, have a look on that as well and um, so let's go. I'm trying to uh, open up the empty hose. Um, one of my friends, uh, who is a mechanic, uh, advised me to look at the pipings first. Uh, if there is uh, damage uh, that will uh, cause the air to uh, imbalance. Uh, normally, when you have an issue like this, it is the air and fuel mixture was uh, abnormal. That's uh, that's uh, causing a uh, issue during uh, burning of oil. So I'll try to inspect this uh, intake manifold filters, and um, with this. Uh, intake hose you can uh, find as well the uh, mass airflow uh, sensor that uh, unit is uh, sensitive so there is I think there is a special uh, cleaning uh, agent that uh, is specifically used only for that uh, parts which I don't have um, that's why I'm uh, only I, I will only try to uh, visually inspect uh, that part and then uh, we will see if uh, needs uh, cleaning or uh, replacement So 
so I also now are trying to uh, remove the uh, engine cover um, that this way uh, we can uh, visually inspect as well what what's uh, under this uh, cover So I inspecting the hose, uh, the antique hose leading to the engine, and um, so I'll try to remove some of the <coughs> screws. Okay, so I removed the uh, antique uh, hose, and um, looking at by looking at this, uh, it seems there is no damage or crack. Um, so I will also uh, try to have a look of the at the butterfly, you know, the butterfly. But um, just an advice: uh, if you are uh, working on this type of. Uh, electronic uh, electronic uh, semi outlet electronic uh, cars i'm showing you the <coughs> mass airflow system there which is uh, very delicate there's a delicate part on that so do not uh, touch anything inside by a uh, screw or whatever you know um it might damage the inside parts of, of the unit so all this uh Those filters, uh, I already uh, checked that uh, prior to this uh, video, and it's uh, it's clean. Now I'm uh, looking at the RPM idle sensor, also the butterfly that I'm uh, talking about. It seems. Uh, Free of carbon, it's clean. So I'm also trying to remove the uh, holder of the, the inner part of the holder of the mass airflow sensor. Let's see if we can uh, clean this uh, further. There you go.
ones with the sensories which is fine obviously I don't want to touch that uh, inside because it's uh, sensitive I don't want to damage the yolk there inside see this this is uh, the sensor so that's sensitive Probably there's inside there inside look um, it looks all right it looks clean Let's see what's uh, so what I am uh, trying to uh, remove now is the ideal rpm sensor but uh, it looks uh, tight uh, I don't have any uh, special tools to remove this maybe I cannot remove this uh, um, the suspect is uh, probably the ideal rpm sensor is uh, dirty uh, because the ma mass airflow system uh, sensor is clean and everything is uh, fine um, This is the only thing that uh, I, I want to see inside probably this is the the one who's uh, causing trouble um, It might be the sensor is uh, dirty Probably only dirty because uh, if it's not working then it I say uh, the engine will not start if it's damaged or with other issue um, I will not try to uh, to force this uh, bolts at my it might damage the bolt so I just leave it like that um, what I'm trying to do now is just uh, probably clean all these uh, parts that I uh, remove. I also uh, try to look at those uh, spark plugs but I don't have any uh, tools at the moment. Uh, will I not go, uh, I will not go beyond that. Uh, I will just try to uh, clean everything the hair and then uh, tries to uh, try to uh, repair it back and we will see if there's a uh, improvement anyway So guys now uh, I'm, I'm uh, trying to show you the 
parts that I already uh, put back together. Uh, this hose uh, looks clean. This one as well. The antique uh, hose. Even the sensor hose leading to the airflow. And also, uh, <coughs> I tried uh, some uh, cleaning on the spark. Yeah, that. The, on the top of the spark plugs and um, I don't see any uh, abnormality whatso whatsoever and now uh, we will try to uh, restart the car and uh, we will see if there is any uh, changes of uh, improvement regarding that uh, low idle uh, issue <laughs> so it started um, oh, as you can see here, um, we will wait for another probably 5-10 minutes for engine to uh, head up um, and we will see the improvements, if there is an improvement. So it's not really uh, jumping up and down now. Well, yeah, it's still there. Um, but it's still uh, not on ideal RPM. It should be uh, it should be here on the 800 mark. It's still too high. So probably I will not uh, I won't um, do much more about it. I leave it to, uh, to the professional. I think that's the best uh, thing to do. Um, but anyway, if there is an improvement there. There is uh, a steady the RPM anyway. And uh, it's not much more uh, loud noises uh, compared to the before we uh, clean all those uh, units, their antique uh, bulbs and uh, air. So basically, uh, it didn't uh, solve the issue in my car. I don't know, um, I probably uh, didn't uh, pinpoint the, the wide sensor uh, correctly. But for now, uh, I leave this to uh, my mechanic, the professional. So I don't want uh, I don't want to damage uh, further. If in case I will damage some something here. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, and uh, hopefully, we'll see you again on my next uh, vlog. Cheers.